All right, what's up guys? So today I have a special video and I just wanted to see, you guys have seen all over Instagram and all over social media that Huel is this hot and ready meal that's ready to go within five minutes. You just pour hot water, let it sit. And apparently it's supposed to have all the nutrients and macros that you need in order to stay fit. So I wanted to see whether or not this thing is first off tasty, second off has the macros, and third off worth your money. So went ahead, ordered my own box right here, and we're gonna go ahead and get into it. Let's see what's good. Unbox this baby. Ready? So it comes with this little package here. Ooh, okay. This might be the free shirt that I have. Um, We'll break it out in a sec. We have the Thai green curry here, just in this big old bag. Feels kind of powdery. We got Cajun pasta, and we got mac and cheese. Very hyped to try this one. We also have this uh, Huel pot. I guess it just kind of comes with it. It's plastic. Um, yeah, I mean, looks like normal old cup, I guess. And then we got two scoops, which I guess is the standard of measurement. So here's the shirt, and you guys can probably see, it says heel, kind of clean. On the back it says heel with a little stripe, I like the design, it's kind of soft. Man, I'm gonna, gonna have to put this on real quick. Nah, just kidding. Y'all gotta pay for that type of shit. So how this works is we're going to go ahead, break these bags open. All right, now it's all shaken up. We're gonna go ahead, we add two scoops to the bowl. And I already have water boiling, but you're just going to add boiling water to it and cover it. So bam, it's done like that. And now all we have to do is grab the water uh, it's boiling, um, it's about done now, and we'll go ahead and add it to the pastas, and then we just cover them. All right, bam, it doesn't look too appetizing right now, but now we all have to do is uh, pop some lids on them, and then just play the waiting game. for the moment of truth. As you can see, uh, ran out of small lids, so. So you can see, doesn't really look too appetizing. Let me, uh, let me try stirring it around. Let's see, let's see if I could fix this. It doesn't look, look all that amazing. We'll see. All right, so I stirred it in, gave it a little bit of time. And here's the finished product. So that's, this is the Thai green chili. The mac and cheese, I'm actually very excited for. It looks pretty good. And the occasion, it, it looks a little, little suspect, I'm not gonna lie. All right, now for the moment of truth. Let's try this stuff out. So right now, we got the Thai green chili here. You can kind of see, it kind of thickened up a little bit as it was able to sit out. Um, kind of looks like an actual like porridge now, but. Not gonna lie, not really a fan. I don't know. Maybe I let, gotta let it grow on me. It tastes really just nutty. That's it, kind of like oatmeal. They just made it look kind of like a chili. I don't know if I'm a fan, I'll be honest. Second bowl, we got the mac and cheese, and this actually looks Pretty solid, like it thickened up. Let me let me show you the consistency, but thickened up, you know, sounds proper. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and try it. You know, pretty solid, but I don't know. I feel like one of the noodles didn't cook through, or maybe the, the taste is a little little off, but mmm. Yeah, definitely getting, uh, getting a strange, like, nutty flavor from it. But, I mean, not bad. 
Not bad. All right, last bowl. We're trying out the Cajun pasta. Looks kind of watery. I don't know how to feel about this, but we'll see. The noodles are cooked through though. So definitely watery. And I don't know, there's not really any flavor to it. It's just literally like eating noodles. I don't know how to feel about it. So, the taste test, I'm not gonna lie, wasn't good. I don't think any of these, uh, these items really passed the taste test for me. Um, wouldn't necessarily be able to recommend it for the taste. Kind of the, the big important factor here. But let's go ahead and we'll look over the macros real quick. So per bag, there's going to be about 400 calories for two scoops and 24 to 25 grams of protein per bag. And we'll also have 13 grams of fat and 50 grams of four carbs. So overall, the macros are pretty good and it actually has a lot of good micronutrients. Um, I'll just throw the tag on the screen here. You guys could read through them all. So the macros are pretty good for someone with a sedentary lifestyle, you know, maybe some light working out, but nothing too crazy. Uh, but if you were to eat, I guess, every meal and get all 2000 calories per day, with straight heel, you'll end up with about 125 grams of protein. Pretty solid. If you're lifting weights, you wanna get probably one gram of protein per pound of body weight. Uh, I'd probably say you could either substitute out some of those calories for a protein shake to hit that target, or to eat one meal that's a little bit more anabolic and hit that as well. So overall, yeah, I, I would give the macros uh, the check mark. You could definitely work it into your diet and make it work. And then also the micronutrients, huge plus. Honestly, I didn't expect it to have micronutrients like that, so that's awesome. And we're looking at this from a price point. It is about $4 per bag. I think it was $3.80 if you get the uh, discount. It's a little bit on the pricier side, but with the time you save, I could kind of see the, the pricing on it because it is a full meal. If you cook a full meal by yourself from scratch, it's probably like gonna cost you $2.80, three bucks. So it's only an, a dollar up charge uh, for the convenience factor. But would I be able to recommend Heal? That, I'm not gonna lie, it has to be a hard no for me. Just generally, I really wanted it to work out because I wanted it to be a substitute. If I needed to go somewhere or if someone had to go to the office and they needed to just microwave something or put boiling water in it, and let it sit, become a meal, wouldn't be a bad substitute. You don't, you wouldn't have to pack lunch that way. Or let's say you're just literally trying to shred up and you could fit in some, some anabolic meals here and there, but overall you want to just simplify your uh, meals, cook less, or you're not that experienced with cooking. That would be a, a great substitute. Um, but I really couldn't recommend it just purely on the taste. Um, I really wish that it did taste good, especially since uh, when you order it, you have to order it in, I think, packs of seven servings. I can't remember the actual number. I, hopefully I'll correct myself here. Yeah, so overall, you kind of have to buy a large bulk whenever you order it. it makes sense logistically, but it's kind of like a big commitment for something that just doesn't taste good. And I, I wish it was good. Uh, and, you know, even if they sacrifice a little bit of the macros, I, I would take it over that. So, would I give Heal my recommendation? I'm sorry, Heal. Uh, not gonna lie, I, I can't, I can't. It just doesn't taste good. I wish it did. Great marketing, looked great. I think you guys have a great idea in your head, but just refine the flavors, man. Go, you'll, you'll get it down. Yeah, that's pretty much all it is from me. Um, just wanted to let you guys know what my opinion is on Heal and my experience. Uh, feel free to drop a like, comment, subscribe, and uh, let me know what's good. Hope y'all stay beautiful. Peace. Oh, I'm not gonna lie though. This this shirt kind of fire. I'm not. This look kind of good on me. Shit. All right, time to change back though. <laughs> Just kidding. Y'all need to pay for that shit. I see you. If you still here, man, get get out of here. Get out of here.